mean everything to me because I know you mean everything to Christ. And Christ means everything to me. And I called on the Lord. I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. And they doing it. Can you acknowledge that? Can you acknowledge you need more instructions? We don't have home instructions. We have homes. You understand? And we stand on that. So where can I find your some kind of Get a flyer. Right here. Homeless and I got homeless Get a flyer. Because I work and help homeless people. And That's I put good. Them in but if you got a better resource, I will work with you. We have the best resource. That's right. That's brotherhood. So That's they got to right. have money to get a home? What did you even say? I said, did you hear me say that? No. Okay. No, that's so not, we're not the Christian church. You have to reform to your religion in order to be in this? Call the number. I'm going to call it. You should call. I'm going to call. I don't know if you call it or not, too, because I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask for you. You should ask. <laughs> ask. Ask for me. Tell him the man with the white meat tree. I'm ask for me. You. I'm going to ask, too, when you call. I got a son in law up in New York. He's into this. I was raised to a foster. My dad and minister. Uh-huh. That's good. That's good. You got to speak in our hand. And I'm not That's what you're supposed to do. You Muslim, you Catholic, you this. You're supposed to do something different than you will. If I can Here's the, the practical side of that. Okay. You can't help people that don't want to be helped. Right. I got that. That's, that's step one. And what we realized back here in the UPK, brothers back here have shown that they want to be helped. They've made the decision to say, I need help. I want to be helped. Brothers and sisters, you understand? That's the problem. A lot of people, they want something, but they don't really want something. They don't know how to get it. I'm no, gonna, it's not they don't know how to get it, because we're telling them how to get it. I'm going to hire with a master. We tell them. I go out and help people outside of my work line, so I know it's a psychological just raise. I got a tape in it. You know what it really is? I'm going to tell you what it really is. Your master's going to be teaching. It's called, it's called. That's what the Bible calls. But you, what you learn in school to put masters, it's not what this Bible tells you. This Bible tells us what is, what's really going on. They're afflicted with demons. You understand? You say you're afflicted with demons? Uh, you, 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 you better tell on yourself. Slow down. Okay. That's true. That's really what's going on. And there's no master's degree program or doctor program that train you on how to fix your people, how to cast out those demons. Well, that's good. On my background, where I come from. But your religion to me. It's not a religion. Your thought process. It's not our thoughts. The Bible thought process that you believe in. God's thought process. Okay. This and is I, God's words. We just read from the Bible. It has nothing to do with religion. But, you know, does the Bible speak of false, false, false prophets? It does. What does it say? I can't quote it right now. So, why are you about to bring it up? You can't quote it. Because I know the scripture. If you know it, quote it. What does it say about false prophets? That Bible reveals that. You tell me because I can't reveal it. Well, I didn't bring up false prophets. You brought it up, so you tell me. But that's false prophets. It's going to be a hug original. That's true. Now, let me ask so you a question. Who are we to follow? Who we do you go to church? Of course. So how do you not know what a false prophet is? From my Bible, what I read on where your person should act and what it should treat. Give me wolves and sheep clothing. You go to yeah. church, right? Wolves and sheep clothing. You, you, you know that one, right? Give me wolves and sheep clothing. I have another pastor that's through the women in the church, but they say they're pastors. So here's the problem. Here's the problem. Begging my money. You go I to church, that. and you talk about false prophets, but you can't see the false prophet that you go and see every Sunday. You go to a, a, a house that you just claims to be the house of God, and it's not the house of God. The house is with me. So why you go to church? 
the house will tell you why do you go to church? Let's try to assemble together. Assemble, assemble, a, who assemble together? That's not what the Bible says. Right. Zephaniah 2 and 1 says, Gather ye together, O nation, not desired. That's right. Not everybody. Right. Who was the nation not desired? I don't know. I, that, give her a hand. I don't know. I love, I don't what's your name, sis? I love it. I, 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 that I love. And that's know. humility. A lot of sisters don't have that. What's your name, I'm sis? Sheila. Sheila? Let me say this. Can you call your sister Sheila? No. There you go. Read. Which come to you in sheep's clothing. Which come to you in sheep's clothing. Here's how you know those Christian pastors are false prophets. People want to act like we false prophets. What does the Bible say about they come to you in sheep's clothing? Keep reading. Come will come. But inwardly, they are raving wolves. But inwardly, they are ravenous wolves. They're raving. When people walk by and they see us, they don't see sheep. There's nothing about our exterior that gives off sheep, is it? What is a sheep? A sheep is, is synonymous with soft and sweet and docile. When you see us, you don't see nothing about us that's give off sheep. Most of y'all see us and you assume we're wolves. That's how you know we're not the false prophets. Oh, give me one second. When you see us, you say, them niggas look dangerous. They look like they feel like, well you may not see them. You seem like you a, a good sister, but I'm telling you what a lot of people think when they first see us. They think we're thugs, we're unemployed criminals, we're just scared to talk to us, we're angry niggas. They look at us and outwardly they see wolves. Hold on, hold on, see, let me come right now. Here's what you see when you see that pastor. You don't look at that pastor and get scared. You don't look at that pastor and get worried. You know why? Because that pastor has on the exterior of a sheep. And guess what? The Bible says inwardly he's what? A raven wool. That's your false prophet. Your false prophet is your pastor. Because you feel comfortable to tell him your business. You feel comfortable cooking him a plate and fixing him food. And, and, and going and paying tithes. And singing and dancing around him. You feel comfortable doing that because on an outward exterior, he has a very welcoming and soft and docile appearance. He has the exterior of a sheep. But on the inside, he's devouring you. He's destroying you. He's telling you lies. You understand? Earlier you said something about you know there's a pastor that's for a woman. There was that pastor at the church. You that many people or now? There's many churches I have, but they got gay men. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. No sweat. Now, now you just you make. That, that's not right. But no, hold on, shit. What you don't like? What I'm telling you, what I don't like. To be honest with you. Go ahead. And I got to tell my nephew, he's one of y'all, whatever. Well, if he's not the highest of the case, he's not one of us. Well, yes, he is. Okay. The thing is, why are we speaking against different races? Have your past taught you that? No. That's my belief. Well, 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 so I'm now, why do you have a belief? Hold on, wait, Sheila. If you go to church, how come you don't believe what your pastor believes? Because right. I, I, I can read for myself and determine what I want so, to believe. So stop going to church. You going to stop going to church? I can't let him make Wait, Sheila, wait. Believe. You can read for yourself and you got your own belief. So I expect you tomorrow to not go to church. Because right. you I'm don't gonna, need that pastor. I wasn't going anywhere. I was going to make me some money to go to work and pay my bills. Well, listen, give her a hand. Good. Don't ever go to church no more. You got your own belief, and you got to get a reading for yourself. There's no need for you to go to church now. I'm reading for myself. Everybody's trying to get home. Oh, 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 o
What scripture, what scripture, God. what scripture says God loves everybody? He's a loving God. What's, what scripture says God loves everybody? He should hate the Jews. He should hate the blacks. His hair is wool. What scripture says God loves the everybody? The Bible said his hair was as wool and his color was as sister, wool. Sister Sheila, I'm asking you a question. Sister Sheila, I'm asking you a simple question. What scripture says God loves everybody? He's a loving God. That's in that book. Yeah, she's not asking the question, sis. I'm just asking a simple question, Sister Sheila. That's all. That's the Bible, it. The Bible says he's a loving God. Where? Call her up. Like sister Sheila, like call your sister. Right. Come on, Sister Sheila. She will speak you down right now. Well, call her, Sister Sheila. Call her. Get some help. Phone a friend. You remember Jeffrey? Like who was that man there? No, they say call a friend. Yeah, phone a friend. Call your sister. I need to know in the Bible. No, seriously. No, seriously. You call the emergency line. Get your life line. Your emergency line. Yeah, it's a lot. Use the life line, Sheila. God, meaning he don't pick certain races to love. Oh, he love people as a Well, we want to know where we can find it so we can read it right here. But wait a minute. So if I was white, can I come to your organization? No. No. You know. Why? La -a in the Hebrew. Why? Because Christ didn't accept white people. Right. What is that in the book? Read that scripture. Call your sister. No, but read that. We going, we're going to slow down, Sheila. Now, read the passage. You I, need, run I really need to go. No, it's too late. It's too late. Now, at least show me that scripture, and then you can go. No, but read in the Bible. I'm going to get it for you. Give me Matthew. Give me Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. Start at verse 20. You're not calling them. You call your sister. I need to know where it says God loves everybody in the Bible. It does. God yeah. is a loving God. We where? are all his children. He called us his children. You see what you're doing? He owns houses. You learned real good from that church. No, no. See, that church teaches people to not ever show the Bible what it says, so only black people but to, to read scripture, but to, to philosophize. But only black people are supposed to be loved by God because we chose the people. Show me where it says God loves everybody. Show me where it says God loves everybody. I'm going to call my brother. I'm going to call my brother that's a pastor. Oh, call the pastor. Uh-oh. Your brother a pastor. Call him up. You, you, need some, you need some help. Call him. No, you, now listen, watch this. No, hold on. watch this. Hold on, give me one second. I want her to be able to let her finish this call so she can hear this scripture. If you're just watching, you just tuning in, stop going to church. Right. First of all, if you out here, you black and split the Native American, you told me to do my stop life going life. to church. Hold on, let's listen. You told me to do my life. What's his name? Pastor what? No, that's my sister. What's her name? Yvonne. Prof Prophetess what? Yvonne. Prophetess Yvonne. I ain't talking about Prophet Yvonne. Okay. He gonna tell me, I said, God loves everybody. Put it on speaker, sister Sheila. Put it on speaker if he you don't mind. He tell me there's nobody, nowhere in the Bible say that because God only loves black people. What you think about that? Put it on speaker, uh, sister Sheila. We want to hear. Right. Yvonne, can you hear me? Oh, can you hear me? Wait a minute. No. Oh, oh gosh. No, no. No, she's still here. Uh, okay, can you hear me? The life, that's, there we go, the water. The lifeline is for the proof, the evidence. Now, meanwhile, meanwhile, we're going to read the scripture. She's going to she gonna call you back. No, yeah, man, I, I know how that might go. She's going to call you back. Yeah. Read. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. 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 It's the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. 24. Now, when we get ready to read, I'm showing you that Christ did not accept everybody. He did not come for everybody. He did not accept everybody. I'm showing you in the Bible what I'm showing you. I'm proving it to you. 
Greek. But he answered and said to verse 20. Come on, verse 20. These are the things. This book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 21. Then Jesus went to and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. So now it's telling you Christ went and he went to the coast of Tyre and Zidon. These are two famous port cities that were very rich. They were the cities of heathens. He read, And behold, a woman of Canaan. A woman of who? Canaan. A woman of who? Canaan. Behold, a woman of Canaan. This is important. Because when you read the Bible, Canaanites are not the children of Israel. You understand? There are two separate bloodlines. There's a reason why the Bible is mentioning this. Are you in the Old Testament or New Testament? We're in the New Testament. Okay. Read on. Uh-oh. Okay, read on. You, you, but you thought it was the Old Testament. I'm just saying, read on. I know, I know Christians, you don't okay. believe in the Old Testament. No, I do, but I'm just saying, read on. Then why you ask? I need to know where you coming from. Oh, show me where you at, brother. That's all. The book of Matthew, okay. chapter 15, verse 20. 21. 21. Okay. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sion. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievous, vexed with a devil. What we got, Sister Sheila? Any, any new updates? I got a new update. What we got? Uh oh, prophet is he? God should love the world. Uh oh. God so love the world. You got John 3 16? So where's the world? The world is a whole people. Is it? I don't remember all the scriptures. You couldn't remember. You got that That's all good. That's the only word. We may have a little drink. Get in our hand. When we leave here, we're going to have a little drink in us too. That's good. This is a sin to be drunk. It's a sin to be drunk, but we are allowed to have a little drink. Christ had a little drink. And they try to call Christ a drunkard. What? I'm going to show you what she just said. What the scripture she pulled is John 3.16. So you're going to make it to what your belief is. No. Because God's love the world. You want me to show you? Who is the world? Everybody here. Hold on, Sister Sheila. Don't ask the question. Don't ask the question. You ain't ready for the answer. Now first, the one. Now first. Let me prove the first point. As you said, that Christ said that he accepted everybody. Yes, he did. No the sweat. prostitutes. Really? What are you doing? Hold on, we're going to get it for you. Where you at, brother? Go back to the back. You said he slept the prostitutes? I said he slept it. Oh, okay. Everybody. No sweat, can you But he answered, heard not a word, and his disciples came. Now, hold on. Sister Sheila, did you, are you aware what just happened? I'm going to break it down for you. This woman that was a Canaanite, she came to Christ and asked Christ to help her and heal her daughter. Because her daughter was afflicted with, what we talked about earlier, demons. Christ didn't answer her. Do you know why Christ didn't answer her? She didn't have faith. She didn't have faith. She didn't have faith. That's the, the, lady that, the final answer. The lady that took the hero of this down. That's not the same. This, this, that ain't that this is different. Stay where we at. But you got to tie it all in No, we got to go precept upon precept, right. line upon line. Here right. right. a little, there a little. That's what the Bible says. Now slow down, Sister Sheila. Hold on. Why did Christ not answer this woman when she asked him to heal her daughter? Why didn't he answer? She had faith and belief. No sweat. Anybody else want to give it a shot? That's not what the Bible says, but I can show you. Anybody else want to answer? How come she's not an Israelite. Say it again. She's not an Israelite. Keep her But we'll prove it to you, though. That's why he didn't answer her. But I'll prove it. Keep reading. But he answered her not. A word, and his disciples came and brought these souls him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. If Christ's disciples who follow Christ, why did they tell Christ to send her away instead of her? Well, I'm asking you. That's, that's good. No, no. Just, just keep that I don't know. Don't say it don't sound right, because if you don't know, you can't know what's right. And they're wrong. That's your heart. Yeah, that's your heart. Your mind is your heart. The Bible says the heart is deceitful above all things. Your feelings don't think that this can be Christ saying he doesn't accept this woman because you don't want him to believe. You don't want to believe that. He doesn't separate us as people. Well, why didn't he heal this woman? She didn't 
have faith and believe. Well, you gotta we, have faith of the mustard seed. Uh -huh. I can have cancer right now. The no sweat, no sweat. Well, we're well, we gonna read to see if that's in there. Yeah. We're gonna faith see. We're going to see if, if he didn't heal this faith. woman's daughter because she didn't have faith. He but, really, but he answered and said, I am not sick, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now hold on, Sister Sheila. What color are these words? What color are these words, my dear? And the red. Sister Sheila, what does it mean when the words are read in the Bible? No. Anybody know? What does it mean when the words are read in the Bible? Anybody know? That's your interpretation. No, this is not my interpretation. This, this is an actual, this is, this is straightforward. What does it mean? Hold on, Sister Sheila. This is speaking. Go ahead. Oh, give her a hand. That ain't my interpretation. It's how she know. No, no, no. Hold on. Now, now you see what she just did. She just said that that was my interpretation when this sister knew that. I, that's not our interpretation. When the words are read in the Bible, that means Jesus Christ himself is speaking, Sister Sheila. These words right here is Christ. Now, let's see what Christ said out of his own mouth. Let's read it again. Read again what Jesus Christ said. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not, but sent. Oh, Christ said, I am sent to who? Christ was sent to who? What people? Not the Israelites, to everybody. That's right. Now, now she's saying not to Israelites, all people. Let's see out of Christ's own mouth who he said he was sent to. Read. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Read it again. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. One more time. I am not sent, but Onto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now, that, Sister Sheila. That's what was going on during that time. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, look, look, come on, Sister Sheila. He does a whole word. Now, hold on. He shines his light on everybody. Now, hold on. Hold, give me hold one second, sis. Now, hold on. Why don't you believe that? Hold on. Wait. Why don't you believe the Bible? If it heal you. Wait, wait, wait. Why do you not believe the Bible? We just read you believe in Jesus. You, saw, you, you said that little if. Yeah. Hey, you don't know we believe him no more. I don't know. This nigga didn't even come for everybody. I, I don't I'm believe in that. Why you think if he were healed, you why would he not heal me? But hold on. Why Wait a second. You say you believe in Jesus, if right? Sister Sheila, you got faith enough to listen. I can listen while this You said you believe in Jesus, right? We just read what he said. How can you believe that? What am I doing? What am I doing? How am I twisting the turning? Read it again. I didn't write this. You, 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 you got a Bible? Anybody got a Bible on? Read this Bible. Open that up to me. Go, go to it. Somebody go, somebody go on their phone. Go on their app. This is the King James translation. What translation should I read from? Like me, and you should believe what we just read. We ain't talking about that. We talking about this right here. We just read what Christ said. Read it again. Right. Read that. I am not, but sent unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now hold on. Now hold on. He read. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, "Lord, help me." But he answered and said, It is not meat to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs. Christ called this woman a what? Dog. Why did Christ call this woman a dog? I didn't read that. I don't know. I can't, I can't debate that. that. I understand. I That's cool. That this woman, this know, woman was know. a white woman. She was a, you read the scripture, she was a Canaanite, but a Syrophoenician by nation. A Greek. You understand? Now hold on. Why did Christ call this woman a dog? Wait a minute now. You gotta think of the better straight. No, I, I don't have to think Christ anything. I need you to tell answer the question. It could be dark as Why did Christ call this woman a dog, I Sheila? Don't know. Would Joe Jesus would Joe Jesus call a woman a dog? Then you don't serve the Christ of the Bible. You see that? You see how this helps you? 
Your Jesus is not the Jesus in this book. That's that's your Jesus, Sheila. That's not my Jesus. That is your Jesus. Yes, it is. Because your Jesus wouldn't call a white woman a dog. That's not my Jesus. Who's your Jesus? My Jesus got hair, wool, and skin of bronze. Oh, that's the that well, that's the Jesus of the Bible. That's the Jesus of the Bible, though. So you believe that scripture in Revelation? You believe that, right? That he had hair, wool, skin of bronze. So why you don't believe what he said when he said, I'm only sent to the lost sheep of Israel? <laughs> uh, what, what, what's, what's going on? You, you, you twisting it. I'm Read what you got, brother. Y'all twisting it. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. We didn't get her. She, she, she listening. And she don't have the brainwashing of Christianity on her mind. Right. And she's hearing exactly what we said. You, you are brainwashed, you. You are. You are absolutely I'm been programmed. Right now. You call me brainwashed. Don't be insulted. I'm telling you out of love. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I'm open. You could be my auntie, and I would tell my auntie the same thing. TT, you out of your mind for believing right. that this has anything to do with anybody except the children of Israel. TT, Sheila. Hold up, hold up. Now, stay right here. Stay right here. Hold up, and Sheila. So, so she not. So you got you, you got offended when we just called you brainwashed, but you just called us Kool Aid people. So that means we brainwashed. That means we drinking the Kool Aid. No, but you mean, but you confused. No, 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 Kool Aid people. Uh, this is this, 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 this is the thing. This is the thing. Give me uh, get your losses two and eight, two and eight. You gotta understand that we as we as black people have been confused. And we've been consumed by philosophy and vain deceits. All right, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot follow God and love America. That's what we don't understand. The, the church has lied to us, but the Bible says that Christ, who Christ died for, just like when it said Christ was on, was on the cross and crucified. He was crucified for a specific people. It says in Acts five and thirty. Which one you got? Hold that, hold that for the brother. Who you got? Colossians two and eight. Okay, give me, just give me Acts. Give me Acts 5 and 30. Show the sisters who, who was Christ crucified for? Who did, who did Christ die for? We're going to find out. He died for our sins. No, it's a, it's a specific no, he people. Died for our okay, sin. let's read it. I'm a, listen, I'm a, I'm a human. You're a human. He died we got for two our different sin. knowledges. Let's find out. Read. He died for our sins. It's the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 30. The God of all fathers raised up Jesus. Raise up Jesus, go ahead. Whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. You know, Christ, I said he was hung. Go ahead. Him have God exalted with his right hand. Exalted with his right hand. To be a prince. You know, Christ is a prince. Go ahead. And a savior. And a savior. For to give repentance. And to give repentance to who? When we, when we, when we, when we repent of our sins, he gives us the repentance, but to who? To Israel. To who? Israel. No, everybody. Israel. Well, the Caucasian. Israel. The African. Israel. The East Indian. Israel. What's wrong? Listen. And sister, I understand. Now give me Colossians 2 and 8. I understand. I understand. Listen. The new channel says this. We were Christians too. We ain't up here beating you up or nothing like that. We love you. You are our sister, man. Listen, you are a black woman. We're going to die for you. We're going to die for our black woman. And guess what? We got to learn. It's understanding. Look, you got to read, 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 read. Listen, don't say, don't say, look, 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 Christian. She learning today. She going to learn today. Let me get back to the people's job. Go ahead, read. This the, is the book of Galatians, chapter 2, verse 8. Oh, Give me Galatians 2 and 8, man. We have been destroyed, man, our mindset. We have been destroyed through vain, through vain, through vain deceit and philosophy. The same way how we celebrate American holidays in the name of God, but Christmas has nothing to do with God. Do when Easter has nothing to do with do God. Not these, none of these I things, man. Go ahead. I don't do it's the book of Galatians. We gotta, we, listen, we got to be mad at our pastor for lying to us, man. Our pastor has lied. At one time, pastors was against LGBTQ. Now the pastor's got the rainbow flag in it. At one, at one time, pastors were against a lot of things, but over time, they are paid by America to get to to teach people to follow and worship America. And America is evil. America is disgusting culture, man. Go ahead and read. Book of Galatians, chapter 2, verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy. We've been spoiled through philosophy. Read on, read again. Beware, 
Lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. That vain philosophy is religion. It's Christianity, man. It's Islam. It's all these religions. God gave us laws. Not to murder. Love your brother as yourself. And God gave them, gave those laws to a specific people, man. To Israel, the Israelites, man. Not everyone. And the brothers will continue to the brother's going to continue to bring it out. I just want to bring out how we have destroyed this philosophy, man. Go ahead, bro. Because I can continue on. You have probably a piece of power in the hand. Okay. You understand? Okay. You're not related to the Muslims, right? So it is related. Yeah, go ahead. So how many brothers go to prison? Let me tell you something. Imagine. Listen to this, sir. Listen to this, sir. Listen to this. You know how many people. They do no different. How many races of people ever say this? The sister says everybody's the same. There's no race. Let me tell you something. The sister says everybody's the same. There's no race. That's what she said. Ernest, she said there's no race, everybody's the same. What, what race of people besides black people say that? You think the, Isra the Israelis are saying everybody's the same? Right. Or the Israelis are saying the people of Gaza, of the, uh, of the people of Gaza right there? Right. The Israelis. Are they the same with the, uh, the people in Palestine? Human beings. Or the people in when Israel. we die, what we do? Yes, but are they the same? The Could you imagine what we We're do? We're not different. We're yes. just different Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You know what you do to your own people when you say there's no race and you're the only one saying that? You're the only race on earth saying there's no race. There is race. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you this. We've been prosecuted. You need, you need a, 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 you to love your own. And I'll tell you this. You need a leader. That's, what, that's the problem. You need a leader. I'm going to tell you this. And guess what? That leader has to be racist. I'm going to give you an example. No, I'm going to give you an example. Let me give you, you know, an example. Let me give you an example. About, no, think about this. I'm going to let you talk, but listen to this. No, listen to this. Imagine somebody robbed you. Sheila, imagine somebody robbed you, right? And you take it to court and you want your money back, right? And you hire a lawyer. You pay the lawyer money to represent you. And the lawyer comes to the court and says, I represent everybody. I represent everybody. And you pay that lawyer your money. And you represent everybody. Come on, man. Your leader has to be racist. And guess what? When they go out to do business with other nations, they have to represent your children. They have to represent you. They can't represent everybody. Let me ask you a question. What? Nathan, not the, 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 the Prime Minister of Israel. Does he represent everybody right now? The, the Prime Minister of Israel. Listen to this. Back in the, the day, Prime Minister that's up right now. 2023. This is what's going on, right? Can the Prime Minister of Israel represent everybody? Years past 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 everybody? Past His past people past hold him accountable, would he? Imagine he goes up there and says, you know what? I represent no, Israel no. and I represent the people of Palestine. They would have him removed from the seat. Why? You you because he's not getting paid to represent the people of Palestine. He's getting paid to represent his people. Guess what? Who do your leaders represent? Can I say Everybody. No, I That's, why That's why we're destroyed. That's why we're destroyed. Until you understand this, man, we need leadership. And in, in, in the ISUPK under Command Jahana, we have leadership here, man. Right. Our leadership represents us. That's right. And we represent that? you. Yeah, we don't right. even be about right. nobody else. That's we love right. Sheila. That's right. You understand know what I mean? Yeah. Babylon is falling to rise no more. Babylon is falling to rise no more. Falling, 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 to rise no more. Falling, 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 to rise no more. I'm taking a look in the streets. It's real every day what I see. We constantly searching for peace. My people just wanna be free. We tired of the cell blocks and the bullshit. 